Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix Assassin's Creed Valhalla game not launching or not opening or not starting error on PC. So let's jump to the solutions. So the very first method is to check system records of, of the game. So for that, first go to Steam uh, under store. Here you have to search for the game. After that, go below and here you will find the system requirements to play the game. Make sure your PC have all the required specs and then try to launch the game and check. If not, then the next method is to restart your PC as well as Steam. So for that, go to uh, first uh, go to Steam. Now click on Steam option, then click on Exit. After that, click on the Windows icon over here. Now click on Power, then select Restart. So this will restart your uh, system and Steam. After that, launch the game and check if it's working. If not, next method is to modify launch options. So for that, go to Steam under Library section, select your game. Here I am showing an example. Now right click on it, click on Properties under general here you have to type minus dx11 and then launch the game and check whether it's working or not if not again come back type minus dx12 and then try to launch the game and check whether it's working or not if the error still occurs come back remove the launch option and move to the next solution next is to update your graphics card for that go to the windows search over here now search for device manager for device manager now here you have to expand display adapter select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will check and update your graphics drivers after updating launch the game and check nvidia and amd users go through the link already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there next method is to verify integrity of game files so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on right click on it click on properties now click on install files then click on verify integrity of game files so this will check and verify the game files now you have to wait for some time after the game files are verified now launch the game and check if not next method is to allow the game through firewall so for that go to the windows search now search for windows security click on firewall network protection allow an app through firewall click on change settings and now here you have to select the game also check if it's listed or not if not click on allow another app click on browse now go to the game folder where your game has been installed select the game application add it to the list over here after adding it select the game make sure both public and private boxes are ticked click on ok and then launch the game and check whether it's working or not if not next method is to run game as administrator so for that go to steam under library section selected game right click on it click on manage now click on browse local files this will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed here you have to select the game application now after selecting the game application right click on it click on properties now click on compatibility and here you have to select run this program as an administrator click on apply and ok and launch the game and check if this doesn't resolve again come back select run this program in compatibility mode for select windows 8 or windows 7 click on apply and ok and then launch the game if the issue still occurs again come back select disable full screen optimizations click on apply and ok and then launch the game and check whether it's working or not but if this issue still occurs come back uncheck all of these click on apply and ok and then move to the next method next is to close unnecessary background task so for that go to the windows search now search for task manager search for task manager now under processes tab you ha are suggested to check which apps are consuming high resources or running in the background you simply have to select it right click on it and click on end task so this will completely close the app that is running in the background and after that launch the game and check if not next method is to update windows so for that go to the windows search now here you have to search for check for updates now click on check for updates option and this will check if any update is there now if there is any update update your windows to the latest version and then launch the game and check next is to disable peripherals so you are suggested to remove devices like wireless keyboards or special gaming mice that can send interfering signals to the game's input system these signals could confuse the game or overload certain system functions so if you are using any peripherals like a wheeler controller or other usb devices or even the second monitor simply unplug them and then try to launch the game and check 
Next method is to check graphics settings of the game. So when a graphics settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolution etc then it directly impacts the game and this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues. So make sure to set up the settings properly or even lower the graphics settings to avoid the unwanted issue. Next solution is to install visual C++ files. So for that I have already provided this, provided this link in the description. Just copy and paste it in your browser or even you can search for visual C++ files on Google. Now after the website opens go below from here you have to click on the link to download. After the link is downloaded you have to open it and you will get a repair or install option. Click on the repair and you have to wait for some time unless you get set up successful message. Now close this and now restart your PC once. After your PC restarts launch the game and check whether you can play it. If not next method is to disable in game overlays. So steam users go to steam click on steam option click on settings now click on in game and here you can see enable the steam overlay while in game option if it is enabled you have to click on it to disable it now after disabling it launch the game and check for geforce experience users open geforce experience tap on gear icon beside username click on general and then switch off in game overlay options from here for discord overlay go to the user settings game overlay tab and switch off enable in game overlay options from here next is to change virtual memory settings so for that uh, go to the windows search now search for view advanced system settings click on settings click on advanced click on change now here you have to select the drive where your game has been installed then select in custom size in the initial size you have to type 12288 and in the maximum size type 24576 click on set and then click on ok now try to launch the game and check if not next method is to perform a clean boot for that you have to press windows plus r and have to type msconfig press enter it will open system configuration page click on services S click on hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all after that go to startup tab click on open task manager now from here also you have to select the application and then click on disable after this go back click on ok and after that restart your pc once and then launch the game and check if you can play it if not next method is to run game on dedicated graphics card so for that go to the windows search now search for graphics settings here you have to add your game to the list for that click on add desktop app then go to the game folder where it is installed select the application now after selecting the application click on the windows icon under gpu preference you have to select high performance and after that launch the game and check whether it's working or not if not next is to install directx on your pc so i have already provided this link in the description just copy and paste it in your browser or even you can search for directx on your google now once the website opens click on download so this will download the directx on your system you have to open it and then install it now after you install it now try to play the game and check if it is working now if the issue still continues then you are suggested to reinstall assassin's creed valhalla game for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage now click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option so this will completely remove the game from your pc after that restart your pc once and then launch steam and again reinstall assassin's creed valhalla game and after it is installed click on the play button to check whether it's working or not